Welcome to Crimson Guitars and welcome to an unboxing video. I am going to look at some some fantastic things. You have heard me mention before that drills, drill bits in particular, and router bits, you buy cheap, you will really, really regret it. And I know that, um, and I, I still have drill bits that cost me practically nothing downstairs that I have to resharpen every minute. Uh, but I've, I've developed a little bit of a habit. I have behind me here at least six different sets of different drill bits for different purposes. Uh, I have drawers full of different types of um, flat bits in my search for a proper drill bit. And today, well, I got in touch with a German company called FAMAG, F-A-M-A-G. And uh, they have been creating drill bits and augers and things like this for, since the 1820s, I think, something silly like that. And they're really rather good at it. And uh, they sent me an actual box for an unboxing video with a variety, ta-da, with a variety of their Bormax Forstner bits. And uh, <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> this is, I don't, I don't know if you will understand just how exciting this is, but using an old blunt drill bit, especially when you are hogging away a lot of material, which is what Forstner bits are for when you're building a guitar, it is, it is terrible. Um, now, what we have here, and you'll be seeing close-ups zooming up on your screen uh, from photos and things, but uh, what we have here is a set from 16.2, 16 which is interesting, 16, 20, 25, 30, and 35 mil across the range. Um, this is the standard Bormax. No, no, it's not. You've got the Bormax 2.0, the Famag Super, which is seriously exciting. This is the first tungsten carbide tipped um, Forstner bit. So essentially that is a piece of tungsten carbide, and that is a piece of tungsten carbide uh, inserted into the drill. And these are, that's how router bits are made. And Fomag also make router bits, so we'll have to talk to them about that soon as well. Okay, well look, photos and we'll have information poopling about so you can, you can see. It's got this waveform thing for helping to uh, uh, get rid of the waste. And uh, across the range we've got some that have got a hex uh, shaft and others that have got a round shaft. But what is properly exciting is, uh, is this one here. It is the uh, uh, Bormax, it's 16.2. I'm not sure what the brand is, but that there is a little Allen key. Oh, little grub screw. Uh, and, <laughs> oh, sorry, but this excites me. Forstner bits tend to, woo. Forstner bits tend to only really work properly when you are drilling with a, with a pillar drill or something onto something flat. But what they've designed here is a Forstner bit and a pre-drill bit. So you can drill at 45 degrees and uh, it will stay perfect. And, uh, and that there is perfect. I'm, I'm gonna leave this actually, we're gonna, we're gonna test that in a minute. So anyway, look, you'll, you'll notice that this is a handheld uh, video this time. Let's put that very carefully in there because uh, we're gonna go straight downstairs and play around. So uh, I'll see you there in a second. We're here 
everybody's on lunch, so it's actually quite quiet in here. Uh, I'm starting with the 35mm, it's the Bormax 2.0, patented. Uh, I think it's the Wave uh, pieces that are patented, but it's also got that. Apparently all of this helps clear the uh, shavings, the swarf, uh, more quickly. Now, one of the things that they say is that uh, these are perfect for use both in uh, pillar drills, which is the ideal usage, or hand drills. I've never really found a Forstner bit that's good in a hand drill, and uh, also very, very good for softwoods. So this guitar here has a poplar. It's not poplar in the slightest, it's older. Poplar's greener and a lot less pricey. There we go, check the depth. So we're going through older, which is fairly soft wood. And uh, that's actually relatively, a relatively fast cut. So let's see. And I'm just removing material. <laughs> That is, that is so clean. I'm not putting any pressure on at all. Let's, let's see what happens when we go down. That is amazing. So, you know, okay, it's a brand new, it is a brand new drill bit. It is properly sharp. It's not warm after that. That was going a little bit fast. But if you look at that hole, the edges inside there are absolutely perfect. There's a guitar made in the 80s called the Holy Something uh, by a UK custom builder, I can't remember. I now think that it's ugly as hell. It was a Strat type thing. But every time I looked at that in the books, I thought, well, you know, he made these holes and then he's lacquered it. How the hell has he buffed and polished and applied lacquer in the holes and uh, all that jazz? This is how you would do it with a brand new, very sharp uh, drill bit. Anyway, so, well, that's perfect. Let's do another cut with this just to see uh, through here. And I'll find some hardwood as well. Now this one I'm gonna do from, so it's uh, overhanging. And it is just clearing, it's clearing very, very well. That's, that's really nice. Yeah, I'm, okay. So this is the standard Bormax. There's no carbide inserts or anything like this. It's come perfectly sharp. They've, they've got teeth. I'm gonna take this out now. I'm really impressed. If you look from here, you've actually got stepped teeth along the leading edge where it cuts, which um, is rather amazing, really. It, uh, it means that instead of one large uh, cutting face just hitting and hitting and hitting, it's got four smaller ones, which, uh, well, makes it feel much smoother. And uh, yeah, it's the same thing on the edge. That's what these uh, uh, recesses are here. It's so that you can, uh, so you've got four or five, four, one, two, three, four, four cutting edges rather than uh, just one big one. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm very impressed. Now, so that's the, that's the big one, and that's going through a softwood. Uh, I'll have to find something particularly hard in a second to show you. We also have, <laughs> so what's the difference between these two? They're both called the same. That's the Famag Super. Oh no, and that's the Famag Bull Max 3. So the Super has, carbide tip on two sides and then a carbide insert just big flat there and then 
the Ball Max 3 has got the Wave technology and inserts. That's a carbide insert, and that's a car. That's a carbide insert as well. So, as a brand new bit, I don't know if we'll see any difference. Let's uh, let's start with the 30 mil Fermag Ball Max. So this is the one that I've been looking forward to. It has no. It's only carbide. So that's... Look at the difference in shavings. But it's, let's finish our cut. No, let's not finish our cut. Do you know what I didn't do? What I didn't do was check how deep I was going. This is a guitar. Let's not mess this guitar up. Double check, yeah. Double check the depth stop. Just make sure that you're not gonna drill through the top because, you know, you don't want to do that no matter how excited you are about the drill or drill bit. So it's cutting remarkably easy. It's also taking bigger shavings and seems to be, it seems to be clearing a lot more as well. So this one has got the two inserts and then the teeth behind and in front of those inserts as well. But these are, yeah, it's, it's clearing a lot of much larger chips. This is the uh, Ball Max 3 and in this hand is the uh, standard Ball Max. If that says anything to you. But, <laughs> Well, I'm going to get, I'm going to get some wood. It's fine. Ooh, that's maple. I can't have that maple. What have we got in here? Nothing. They've been cleaning and organizing. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, here we go. Not the hardest wood we use, but uh, Sapili, it's fairly chunky. Uh, I'll go down here. Wow. Okay, <laughs> that's amazing. In all honesty, the shavings are, the shavings should be the product, not the hole. Those are so cool. Okay, so that's, I mean, that just, that just ate a perfectly clean hole in this Sapili. Uh, just to, just to keep it relatively smart. I'm gonna go back to the Ball Max 2, which is the standard, no carbide inserts or anything, but it's got the teeth on the edge, etc. This is the first one we used. Okay, this is taking much, much smaller, finer. This is the original, this is the one we... <laughs> okay. The Ball Max 2 is taking much smaller shavings. Not as fine, it's also going through slower, although it is five mil bigger, or 10 mil bigger even. But uh, it's not cutting as... Yeah, the Ball Max 2 is not cutting as cleanly as the carbide inserted Ball Max 3. So there's some... Uh, linear development there, which, uh, which is nice to see. Okay, so we've used those two. I'm going to go on to the Famag Super. Now this baby doesn't have 
the edges all the way around. All it has is the carbide inserts. Four carbide inserts. Two cutting, well, two cutters on the side and two teeth in the bottom and on the side. Actually, yes, there's three really. Now, I expect this to cut much, much faster. This one also has the round barrel. Although I think that must be an option across the board. I expect this one to cut um, faster and clear a lot more material because there's not as much contact between the drill and the wood. That wasn't as massive of a difference as I thought it would be. But still, yes, large shavings coming out. I think for my money, the Ball Max 3 is my favorite so far. Okay, let's have a look at this into the softwood just very quickly. Oh, I'm making such a mess on the floor. <laughs> Let's see what she does. Yeah. Now, I am going too fast. It must be said. The, the drill is heating up a little bit. Uh, for longevity, I would actually slow this down to about half of what it is right now. Uh, you don't want to make your force bits burn out, really. Uh, I also have some maple here that needs to be drilled out. Let's see. Just while I'm here, let's, let's go in. <laughs> That's cutting really cleanly. I'm quite interested, it's got a, the teeth on the edge are going deeper and forcing it to, uh, yeah, I'd, that's, that's quite interesting. In the figuring, it's a little bit uh, furry, which I would expect, but um, yeah, we've got no problem. No. Hmm, the Bormax 3 is my favorite. Bormax 2, just in the interest of uh, fun. Okay, are you guys bored yet, actually? I, I, I sincerely hope not. Okay, I'm not going to do that actually, because I've already used a Bormax 2, which is the most standard of them here. No carbide inserts, although those, those teeth on the edge there, I really like that. Um, I like, I love the carbide inserts. I think those are awesome. But this here, so you can either have this long guide bit, let's just throw that on the floor, shall we? Or, or a, a more standard center point. Let me find, do we have anything with an angle on it? Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Rather pretty piece of uh, heavily flame maple off cut. And, uh, well, let's see.
That's crazy. So this is for cupboards and hinges and things. But, uh, well, there we go. Who would have seriously... <sighs> we have a load of uh, different Forster bits that we've used over the years. Uh, I've got sets from, well, this is made in China. And, well, I've seriously considered trying to re-harden those myself. We've got cheaper shitter made in China. Uh, <laughs> that, uh, I don't know why we still have them here. And then there's, you know, some fairly good um, coated bits. I can't remember, I think I got these at Axminster. That do the job all right and need sharpening a lot. Here though. This is, these are drill bits that are engineered to be awesome and have been thought about a lot more than everything else that I currently have here. I'm, I'm properly impressed. The, you have to think about price and if you're going to drill once or twice a year and then that's it, then you know, it's not necessarily for you. If you are trying to be professional, then it's almost unfortunate, but you have to spend the money in order to get the quality that will help your work. Now I can't get that out of there. Fun times. No, she doesn't want to come. Well, there we go. How interesting. You can't have a review without one thing going wrong. I'm sure it's my fault for pushing too hard, too fast uh, through that. And uh, with a little WD-40 and something that actually is a hammer, I'm sure I'll get that out. Now, uh, the quality of the cut, I mean, quite frankly, I, I really liked the Bormax 3. Uh, it's got both the tons of carbide uh, inserts and the normal cutters along the edge. It seemed to clear more, wow, actually the way they've engineered the uh, throat there, to clear, that's really sexy. Dear hell. These things are just sexy. Uh, but even the standard um, Bormax 2s, Oh, mind blowing. So there we go. Um, look, you, you see these things and you keep see me saying, well, spend the money, spend the money, spend the money. It's why I've got the Felder planar thickness row over there. It is a supremely expensive bit of kit. However, it is mind blowingly good at its job. These have been engineered properly to be better at their job than any other force bit I've ever seen or heard of. Uh, now there's a challenge for you. I'm, uh, <laughs> well, I have a guitar to finish drilling, so I'm actually gonna spend the next 10 minutes or so using them again. Uh, they, they also make fantastic, um, some of my, well, yes, some very, very, very nice brad points. And uh, I'm interested to get my hands on some of the router bits as well and see how it goes. Uh, and we'll go from there. So, thanks for watching. Click like, click subscribe, all, the, all that goodness. And uh, let me know what you think. If you have an alternative product that you use or know of that you think will be better in any way, shape or form than these, let me know. Because, uh, well, I have, I, have a, I have a bad habit with regards to fine tools, it must be said. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Guitar.